안녕하세요, 여러분. 네, 저는 소나나 어, 소나나 재단의 소프트 엔지니어로 일하고 있는 로아라고 합니다. 오늘 이렇게 블록 미디어 컨퍼런스 여러분들과 함께 되어서 정말 영광입니다. 제가 소나나 재단에 일하면서 가장 흥미리, 흥미롭게 느낀 점은 우리가 웹3 기술에 대해 대충화를 위해서 노력하는 것입니다. 소나나가 빠른 속도, 낮은 수수료, 그리고 투연한 확정성 바탕으로 개발자들이 전 세계 소시법 명예의 사용자를 위한 혁신적인 디압을 만들 수 있는 인프라를 제공하는 것은 목표로 하고 있습니다. 대한민국은 빠른 기술 수용력과 블록체인 기술에 대한 많이 관심 있는 시장이라서 소나나가 가진 강점이 어, 대한민국 개발자들과 기업들에게 새로운 기회 제공하는 것은 확실합니다. 이제 이 자리 빌러 소나나 최신 발전 공유하자고 합니다. 소나나가 어떻게 웹3 대충화를 이끌어 나갈 수 있는지 그리고 대한민국 여러분들과 어떤 협력 모색할 수 있는지 함께 고민할 시간 되길 바랍니다. 질문 있으신다면 발표 후에 저를 찾으세요. 한국어를 대화를 나눌 수 있어요. 그리고 나머지는 발표가 기술적인 내용 많이 포함되어 있으니 이제부터 영어로 진행하도록 하겠습니다. So l a n a s mission is to support how all high growth crypto applications to scale Web3 to global adoption. Specifically, Solana aims to provide an ultra high performance, secure and scalable blockchain infrastructure that enables developers to build decentralized applications that can reach billions of users. Through this decentralized infrastructure, applications are accessible globally throughout the world. allowing us to do things like transfer funds to another country without needing to wait for the business hours to open in a different time zone. Solana is designed to support high transaction throughput and is currently the blockchain that consistently processes the highest number of transactions per second out of all blockchains. So you can see the green line on the top graph is the TPS processed by Solana and all the other blockchains are also uh, graphed on the same graph. At a technical level, At a technological level, the network was built such that it could enable a decentralized global payment network such as Visa, and thus needs to support a high level of network throughput. Because of Solana's technological advancements, a strong community of application developers formed. This community has built the tools and features that improve the lives of end users and enables innovation. Solana has one of the largest developer communities in the blockchain industry, which is another key differentiating factor along with its technological strengths. Blinks, or blockchain links, are a new technology that Solana launched this year that revolutionized the way we interact with blockchain. At its core, Blinks are the next generation of links that we're familiar with on Web2. With Blinks, users can view and take actions directly from their social media feed without needing to navigate away to a separate website or application. This creates a seamless and integrated experience that wasn't possible before the advent of blockchain technology. The blinks contain all the necessary information to perform a specific action on the Solana blockchain, and they can easily be shared across various platforms like Twitter and Telegram. Blinks prevent, present a user with a clean, uh, user-friendly interface so they can complete the intended transaction with just a few clicks. So yeah, the video uh, had problems loading, but this is how a blink looks. You can see on the image on the right, you can imagine your Twitter feed, this box will come up, and you can select one of the buttons to perform an action. Once you click the button, the transactional process on the Solana blockchain. So the implication for Blinks for user experience and adoption are significant. By reducing friction and making blockchain interactions more intuitive, they lower the, the barrier to entry for mainstream users. So users don't need to understand how blockchain works in order to participate in decentralized applications. Anyone can participate just as easily as they'd like or retweet a post. So the potential use cases for these are vast. You can donate to your favorite charity, participate in a community governance vote, purchase a digital asset directly from Twitter, and for Web3 projects and NFT creators, Blinks provide a way to reach a broader audience by lowering the barrier to entry. Users can purchase NFTs, inquire about airdrops, and engage with interactive games, all through the simple and intuitive user interface. As more developers and projects integrate Blinks into their offerings, we can accept expect to see the continued growth of innovative user-centric blockchain applications. Software projects have already successfully integrated Blinks. As one example, the real-world asset company, Baxis, which aims to tokenize collectible spirits on chain, generated $75,000 in revenue from a single Blinks-enabled tweet. Actions can be thought of as the backend behind Blinks. Essentially, actions are a standard API that create transactions on the Solana blockchain. These APIs are hosted at a public URLs, which means that any client can interact with them using straightforward get and post requests. So now in order to launch a business, a developer can code an API that underlies the blink, then they can go straight to market without needing to develop an entire website or application. 
Now let's talk about some new validator clients on Solana. In proof of state networks like Solana, having multiple independent validator clients is crucial for security and resilience. By introducing a new code base, this reduces the risk of bugs or attacks affecting the entire network. So if one client experiences issues, the others can continue operating, maintaining the integrity of the blockchain. Moreover, having clients written in different programming languages allows developers to optimize the software for specific use cases. This flexibility encourages innovation and the, the development of speci specified uh, validator clients for each contributing to Solana's decentralization. So we'll talk a little bit more about Jumpfire Dancer. And we also have Mithril, which is a full node client written in Golang with the goal of serving as a verifying full node. And it has lower hardware requirements than that of a Solana validators or RPC node. So someone can use this client to check to make sure their transactions were included in a block. So Fire Dancer is a new high performance validator client that promises to revolutionize the way Solana processes transactions and scales for the future. Fire Dancer was developed by Jump Crypto and is written in C++. And it uses Jump's unique experience in building performance software that brings over techniques used in the high frequency trading world to create an even faster validator client. In a live demo last year, Fire Dancer showcased its impressive performance by processing over 1 million transactions per second. To put that into perspective, that's about 20 times more than Solana's current theoretical limit and far beyond what even major payment processors like Visa typically handle. So the requirements for Fire Dancer were for Fourfold. Fire Dancer was built for high availability so that we can ensure the software is always available to serve user requests. And in the case of faults, we have a fast recovery. It was built for high scalability to support a dense worldwide validator community, high efficiency so that it could run on low cost hardware and maximize cost efficiency for those running the software, and finally, high speed. Under ideal conditions, a Fire Dancer node can process over 1 million transactions per second. You could think about this as the equivalent to every person in the world making 10 blockchain transactions per day. Fire Dancer was built using an incremental approach. The original validator client we had, which I'll refer to as the Anza client, was independently redeveloped to create a complete second client. At each step, the work was documented and optimized. Frank and Dancer is the intermediate client with components from the original Anza client, along with some new components that were the first components developed for Fire Dancer. Two years ago, we first announced the development of Fire Dancer. And as we announced at breakpoint of this year, our annual Solana conference, the Frankendancer client is now live on mainnet. Additionally, Fire Dancer is live on the testnet network. This marks one of the final steps of development and testing before going live to mainnet. The lessons learned by the Jump team while developing the Fire Dancer client are being used to improve the original Anza client as well. And they can also be applied to improve the entire Solana ecosystem. We can ultimately think about the work being done to develop Fire Dancer client as the equivalent of taking a regular road and replacing it with a multi-lane highway. Now, I want to tell you about a cool new feature on Solana called Verifiable Events. When de developers create a program or an app for Solana, they can use this feature to ensure that the program runs on chain exactly matches the source code that was written. With verifiable builds, developers can prove that the program running on the blockchain is an exact match to the code they intended to run. So you can see this image. This is what a user might see if they visited a, an explorer and their program is verified. They'll see like a green badge that shows that. It only takes one command to run to verify a build and then the program will earn this badge. And this will show up on several explorers such as SoulScan or Solana FM. When you see an app has been verified, you can be confident that the behavior you see is exactly what the developer intended. You can visit this website, solanaverify.org, to see the repository of verified programs and check whether a program has been verified. Projects like Phoenix Trade, Orca, Radium, and even the token program itself have already been verified. This feature adds another layer of security to blockchain applications that will allow users to feel confident that they're interacting with secure and reliable programs. Thank you for your time today. I hope you've enjoyed learning about some of the most exciting technical updates on Solana. I'm excited to see the ways in which Solana can be adopted further by institutions and startups alike here in Korea. You can follow us on Twitter to stay updated with the latest news from us at x.com slash solanafndn. 감사합니다.